Um, a final example I've got here is the word the. Okay, the um, has got two sounds in it. So it's got the and it's got a, and there's hearts above both of them. Because when we see uh, the word the on the page, if we know our single letter sounds, we know that this letter here makes a t sound and this letter here makes a sound. But when they go together in this word, it's actually different. It's a bit irregular than what we used to. So T and H go together to make a sound, okay? We call that a digraph, when two letters go together and make a whole new sound. Then there's also a heart above the E in the, because when I say the, okay, so I've got my two sounds in the, um, and I say say the and the ah uh at the end, I'd expect to hear, sorry, C, either a U or an A to represent that sound that I hear, but in fact, in this word, it's an E. Okay, so that's the tricky part that I need to learn off by heart.